This is the voice, this is the voice, this is the voice of Radio Free Naruda. Greetings. It has come to our attention that Greytex has issued rejoinder to our criticism. It is his assertion that he is vegetarian, and therefore our attribution is fallacious. For the purposes of clarity, we cite the Oxford English Dictionary, unabridged, edition 1986. Vegetarian, one who abstains from animal foods. We offer this from Grey Texas in the mouth. You know, if you've had a history as I have of like eating curries and pasta and everything else from all these other parts of the world, it's a lot easier to become a vegetarian. Uh, and that's why I find it quite easy to do. And I was a vegan for a while, but. You know, it's difficult to do that and keep a full-time job, you know. It's not as if you can just, like, go out and buy vegan food <laughs> at a supermarket conveniently and, and speedily. But, um... Greytex is not a vegetarian. We strongly suspect he sucks eggs and teat. No doubt he thinks eggs come from the eggplant and milk from milkweed. Furthermore, as a man incapable of baking his own bread, he in all probability consumes such food additives as lactic acid, derived from slaughterhouse blood, mono and diglyceride. Typically steam distilled from the same abattoir runnels. And levorotary cysteine, an essential amino acid derived from feathers and human hair. Therefore, the unexamined, projecting, fat ass is not only a flesh eater, but cannibal. Greytex is not a vegetarian. He only thinks he is. Furthermore, he is complicitous in that slaughter which he so objects to. Not for pleasure, but simply for matter of convenience.
gray text is worse than Eichmann. Eichmann, the monster, was honest. I'll move. The proceeding was brought to you by the makers at Golematic. Bright lies for dark truths.